115 million euros for Moises Caicedo, 53 million euros for Romeo Lavia. Now we'll take Wataro Endo for 19 million euros, said Jurgen Klopp as he watched Chelsea snatch all of his midfield targets. Well, the German manager didn't actually say that, but that's exactly what happened to Liverpool during their search for a solution to their midfield. The Reds were expected to bring in one of Moises Caicedo or Romeo Lavia, but ended up with none before finally settling on Stuttgart midfielder Wataro Endo. It was a surprising decision by Jurgen Klopp and sporting director Jorge Schmatka to go after the 30-year-old midfielder. In fact, the decision was even met with heavy criticism by fans on social media. But we are in a time when if a player doesn't have a golden and shiny FIFA card, it means he is not good enough. Well, that is entirely wrong because the Japanese international is already considered an icon to Stuttgart supporters. So if you want to learn who the new Liverpool midfielder is, how he became a Stuttgart legend, and how he will be reliable short-term fix for Liverpool, then watch until the end of this video. But first, before we do get into it, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily football content. Wataro Endo was born on the 9th of February 1993 in Yokohama, Japan. He joined the academy of Shohan Belmer, where he developed his skills and slowly rose through the ranks. In 2010, he was handed his first professional contract and started to feature regularly in the Shohan Belmer's senior team. However, his first years with his club could have been better as he was relegated to the Japanese second division in 2000. 2013. Johan regained promotion to the J League One after winning the title in 2014, with Endo playing a crucial part in this achievement. He ended the season with seven goals and 38 appearances, which is impressive for a holding midfielder. Wataro's form continued in the following campaign as he helped the club finish eighth in the table, which was the highest position Johan had achieved in Japanese's top tier. His impressive performances caught the attention of Japanese giants Uarara Red Diamonds, who moved to capture the midfield signature. Endo won the 2016 J-League Cup in his first season, scoring the winning penalty in the final shootout. In the following campaign, he won the Shuriga Bank Championship and most glorious trophy in Asian football, the 2017 AFC Champions League. We've got an interesting fact for you. Endo started both legs as right back during the AFC Champions League final against Al Halal. Klopp may have brought him in to Alexander-Arnold's backup after all. Joking aside, Endo has had a reasonably successful career in Japan, which invited European scouts to come sniffing around the player. In 2018, Belgian first division side Stint Trudent successfully signed the player, who ended up playing 31 times for the club, scoring two goals and registering two assists in his only season in Belgian football. Endo's statistics regarding goals and assists could be more impressive, however his performances and contribution during the games were what caught the attention of the German side Stuttgart, who were relegated during the 2018-19 season. Just three games into the 2019-20 camp, campaign, Endo joined Stuttgart initially on a loan deal. However, the first few months in the German second tier was ones to forget. During the first 13 games, Wataro featured just once for Stuttgart coming off of the bench. His debut lasted a single minute. After the departure of Tim Walter and the arrival of new head coach Pellegrino, Endo established himself into Stuttgart's first 11. During the remaining 21 games of the campaign, Endo missed a single match due to a yellow card suspension. He was a crucial piece in Matsarasso's plans and ended the season gaining Stuttgart promotion back to the top division. Endo's first season in the Bundesliga wasn't different, as he established himself as the first name on the team sheet. The midfield bulldozer was the Bundesliga's leader in terms of challenges, putting in an incredible 476 tackles, which earned him the captain's armband midway through the season. Stuttgart finished the 2020-2021 season comfortably at ninth place. The story differed in the following campaign, as the club was heading directly to a relegation playoff, but this is where Endo stepped up to write his name in gold in Stuttgart's history. Endo featured in all of Stuttgart's league games as a captain, except for one match he had missed due to the coronavirus. But what he did in the final minute of the last game of the season was something that will forever remain in the memories of Stuttgart supporters. It was a game against FC Köln, and the Reds needed a win to avoid going into the relegation playoffs. The score was 1-1, and as the final whistle was seconds away, Endo stepped up to head home the game's winner, sending the home fans wild and guaranteeing safety for the club. Club. The 2022-2023 season was nothing different for Stuttgart's captain. He missed a single game due to a concussion and managed to play the full 90 minutes in nearly every other game. Endo played his final game for Stuttgart on August 12, 2023 in the DFP Pokal game against TSG Ballingen, where he scored his club's fourth goal and that, ladies and gentlemen, is Wataro's Endo's career. Now that we got the player's journey out of the way, let us discover why Liverpool splashed out 19 million euros that could rise to 25 
500 million euros for him. Well, it was clear as daylight last season that the Reds have been struggling in their midfield area, and with the departure of all of Jordan Henderson, James Milner, and Fabinho, the club went on to sign both Alexis McAllister and Dominic Sabozlai for over 100 million euros. However, both players thrive as advanced eights, although the Argentine can perform the holding midfield role, Jurgen Klopp insisted on bringing in a natural number six. This is why Liverpool were eager to bring in the likes of Caicedo and Romeo Lavia. However, they ended up with Rotaro instead. Is Endo an upgrade on Milner and Henderson? Probably yes. But is he another Fabinho? Well, we doubt that. So how can the Japanese international be of use to Liverpool's team? Well, Endo does the job required by a defensive midfielder. He has a good pace to cover ground and excellent timing of tackles to win midfield duels. Endo is a superb ball winner, which is what Liverpool lacked during their 2023-2024 opening game against Chelsea. He is good at retaining the ball as he uses his body to shield it wherever he is pressed, and he is also great aerially despite being only 5 foot tall. According to Opta, since his debut in the Bundesliga in 2020, Endo ranks at number 1 in most duels and most minutes played amongst all midfielders. He also ranks as the second most player to win possession and the second most player to put tackles in. This shows that the Japan captain is an absolute machine in the middle of the park. However, Liverpool fans should not expect significant ball progression from the midfielder, as his passing accuracy does not inspire confidence. In the last Bundesliga campaign, Endo had 79.7% passing accuracy, with 32.1% of his passes going forward, which shows that the player does not have the technical ability to split defences in the half of single passes. Endo is a typical number 6, just the way they used to make them in the past. He doesn't have a magical touch, nor does he hypnotise defence with a single pass, but what is certain is that he will 100% put a shift in and fight for every ball in the midfield. The Japanese midfielder can also play as a centre-back, which was one of the reasons Klopp wanted him. Will Endo be a good player for Liverpool? Yes. Will he be a successful short-term solution? Absolutely. However, due to the player's age, Liverpool must be looking for a younger, more technical holding midfielder. But also, the Reds should reinforce their defensive department because by bringing in number 6, Liverpool's issues will not magically disappear. We do hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, then please hit the like button and subscribe for more football content. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.